All right, today we're going to try to fix the shower curtain here. This is an adjustable, so you unloosen it and you can slide it in and out, and then you tighten it and then it doesn't move. The only problem is that when you tighten it, it doesn't like expand to hold it. So then in once while, like the other night at two in the morning, this fell down. So what we're gonna do is uh, build a little wooden block with a hole in it that will hold this, we'll screw one to each side and that'll hold these in place. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we'll measure and see how big of a hole we need. It looks like it's about an inch and a half that, uh, We'll need to drill out so it should be good all right so the first thing we're gonna do i've got a piece of three quarter inch mdf it's just some extra trim left over from another project so we'll cut two blocks of this out of this and i'll do them like two and a half inches square and we'll drill a hole in the center of each one of those let's see we've got five actually that'd be just perfect two and a half i'll just cut it in half and we'll cut this side off and this one will be right in the center. It should be the center. Two and nine. And two and nine, yeah. So I want to split, split that with the saw blade. Right, so we'll cut these first. Get some hearing protection. Perfect. Now we've got our two little squares here. So the next thing is to find the center, center of each one. And that we can just use the diagonal here. That'll be the center of that one. That's the center of that one. So now we need to drill these guys. Uh, so let's get our Forzner bit. So here is the inch and a half Forzner bit. This was a, a set I got, I think it, at uh, Harbor Freight or something. It was fairly cheap. So, but it works nice for what it is, just for when you need one or two bits once in a while. So these will be just the right size. And I want to clamp these down so that we don't Hurt. I don't want to hurt myself. There we go. That'll be safer here. So now we'll just center that up on our X. We don't want to go all the way through. We just want to go deep enough that it'll be able to hold the, the end of the rod. That should be deep enough there. Just maybe eighth of an inch. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna have the edges be a little rounded over. So I want to use the rounder and run those over. So I got this set. I wanna use like a quarter round. Now if we use one that's got a, like here's a corner round here, a 3 sixteenths, that's probably a good size there. We don't wanna to do too much on the edge and it's got a bearing that'll run against it so that will basically roll around the edge and get us a nice little nice little round over on that so we'll go put this in the, the router See, it did a nice rounded edge all the way around. Another thing I, I might do is round these corners too, just to make it make it all nice and rounded on all of it. And then we'll repeat for the other one as well. Alright, the next 
step will be to drill a hole through the center that we can put a screw through and screw these into the wall. And then they're ready. All they have to do is paint them and then we can stick them up. And so we'll finish that off and then that'll be the end of the video. That's it. That's a good size so that a screw will go through. We'll just use like a standard sheetrock screw and just something large enough. So we'll drill a hole through so that it'll fit. Let's get a piece of scrap so that drill into the countertop here. So then a standard sheetrock screw will fit through there. It'll actually go down to that little little hole that the uh, Forsner bit made in the center. Which it is getting kind of old, but we'll stir it up and it should be fine. Oof, a lot of rust around the edges. Put a lot of paint on these raw edges, they'll soak up. Might have to do a couple of coats and come back and get some of the extra off. Make it look nice. All right, these guys are ready to go. They're all nice and dry. I've got a couple screws, so we'll take them up and install them. Okay, let's check it out here. It looks like we've got a good size. So now we'll go and install these guys. These will go right up in the corner here. And just put one screw right through the middle of it. side. falling down in the middle of the night anymore.